Hi, everybody. Are you ready to start counting in fives today? I'm back, and I just want to show you how to count in fives. Are you ready? Here are today's learning goals. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to skip count by fives, justify which numbers are included in the counting by fives number pattern, and explain how to identify a number that is not included in the skip counting by fives pattern. Well, are you up for this learning challenge? When you count groups of things, you can skip over some numbers to get to the total faster. Do you know what this is a picture of? If you said a starfish, that's right. And a starfish has five legs. So, put on your thinking cap. If a starfish has five legs, how many starfish legs are in this picture? Well, when we learn how to skip count in fives, we can get to the answer 15 a lot faster. Are you ready to learn how to count in fives? Five, 10, 15. There are 15 starfish legs. Counting in fives is easy. You just count every fifth number. When we're counting in fives, we count every fifth number. When we're counting in fives, we count every fifth number. When we're counting in fives, we count every fifth number. Are you ready to count with me in fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, one hundred. I want you to pay close attention to the numbers that are counting in fives. Did you notice anything about the numbers? Well, I'll give you a clue. Pay very close attention to the ones place. I'm back. If you pay very close attention to the ones place, you'll realize that every number that counts in fives either has a zero or a five in the ones place. I want you to lock that into your memory bank because that's going to come in handy a little later. Do you remember how to count in fives? Well, I'll remind you, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Now I'm gonna give you a few minutes to try it on your own or you can try it with a friend. You're going to skip count in fives three times. The first time, you're gonna skip count by fives to 25. The second time, you're going to skip count by fives to 10. And the third time, you're gonna skip count in fives to 95. Go ahead, try it.
I'm back, everybody. Let's try the first one. Let's skip count by five to 25. Super counters, are you ready? Super counters, are you ready? Let's go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Stop. The second one asks us to skip count by fives to 10. That's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Put it in the pot and make it cheesy. Five, 10. The last one asks us to skip count by fives to 95. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. I hope you and your partner or you all by yourself got it right. Are you ready to move on? Well, let's go. I want you to try some skip counting on your own. But before we do that, and before I allow you to go all on your own, we're gonna do two together. Remember when I told you that skip counting helps you to find the total faster? Well, let's try number one. How many balls are there all together? Each group of balls are in groups of fives, so we can skip count in fives to find the total. Five, 10, 15, 20. Very good. If you've forgotten how to count in fives, you can always go back in the video to the area where I count in fives for you. That will help you. And you can do that as many times as you need to until counting in fives becomes easier. Remember, counting in fives means that we don't have to count each ball. We can put them in groups of fives and skip count. How many balls are there all together? Are you ready, super counters? Five, 10. Now that was easy peasy lemon squeezy. Put it in the pot and make it cheesy. There are 10 balls all together. Now here's where you can go back and listen to me counting in fives again for you as many times as you need to. Because on the next slide, you are going to be expected to find out how many balls there are in each group. Take as much time as you need, but I'm gonna give you a little time. Are you ready? Here's where you try some on your own. Remember I said it's okay if you wanna go back in the video to the area where I count in fives for you to help you to get more comfortable with skip counting in fives before you try it on your own. Count each group of balls by skip counting in fives to find each total. Are you ready? Go ahead. Hey everybody, I'm back. Let's look at number three together. If we're skip counting in fives, that means we're gonna count each group of balls together. Are you ready? Five, 10, 15. I hope you got 15 when you skip counted in fives. Let's look at number four now. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 
30. Did you get 30 when you skip counted in fives all by yourself? Well, I sure hope so. Here's where I want you to put on your thinking cap. I want you to think about this. Nisha skip counts in fives and gets the number 19. How do you know that Nisha's answer is wrong? Can you think really hard to what I said the pattern is with all the numbers counting in fives? That's a clue. Use it. I'm gonna give you some time to discuss your answer with a partner. And then I'll come back and I'll show you exactly why Nisha is wrong. Hey guys, I'm back. Do you remember what I said about the numbers that count in fives? Well, I said that numbers that count in fives usually will always end in either zero or five or as zero or five in the ones place. We've highlight highlighted the ones place in the number 19 in red. In the ones place, there's a nine. And when skip counting in fives, it should either be zero or five. So, Nisha is wrong because in the ones place, there's a nine. And in the ones place, when we're counting in fives, there can only be a zero or a five. I hope you got it right, Smart Cookie. Are you ready to try some on your own? Here's where you're going to do it. This is the word game. You're going to click on this link and you're going to go directly to a game where you get to skip count by fives. You have to be really quick and I hope you enjoy it. Then you're going to go by the word worksheet and click on the link at the bottom. Remember, you need someone to help you with this because they're going to have to print out your worksheet for you to complete. Well, today was another exciting and enjoyable lesson and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.